Welcome back to Legendary Encounters The Matrix. All right, Neo up first. He is in the real world. Yes, we have to add a card to The Matrix. That one's coming down, and I am bothered by the closeness of Agent Smith. It's bad, because you can't attack him. All right, uh, yes, yeah, so and we're flipping this over. Uh oh It's another hit me if you can. Enemy training card. Fight, discard, top of dark. It's two or more, defeat the center. Otherwise, leave it where it is. Ooh. Ooh, all right, what does Neil have? He has two attack and two, three, four, five, six recruit. Does Morpheus have a nice attack coordinate card for him? I believe he does. Morpheus has the knife throw coordinate for three. So let's go ahead and play that for Morpheus. And oh, he gets a basic card. No, okay, ooh, that might be painful. Okay, uh, and that is a a blue symbol, so no synergies with that. Alright, bottom line is Neo is currently in the real world. He has two, three, four, five. He's got six recruit. Six recruit. Four. Um, I think for four he's going to go ahead and get a mouse card. I know I'm probably doing a horrible job of getting things together. Place that and the two more he'll get kung fu. Alright, and my battery's dying, so ooh, we got a seven tank card. Wow! Alright, we're gonna come back and see what else we're gonna do with Neo. Alright, Neo will pop into the Matrix and he is gonna have a three coordinated three. He basically has five attack. Uh Oh, he could do this. Oh, man. Or he can take out this. You know, I think we have to use two of our attack to take this guy out to slow down Agent Smith. So two attack gets rid of him. That leaves us three attack. And I guess we're going to try the training mission for three. So we're going to just... So, so we have two of three. So we have one attack left. We're not going to be able to do anything with it. Uh, we need to find a two or more damage to defeat this enemy. Otherwise, Neil's going to take two strikes. Okay, what do we have here? We have goodbye, Mr. Anderson. A four! Yes! Awesome. So we complete this training mission. All right, or this training enemy. Boom. We have five done. And that's the end of Neil's turn. And he has a huge discard pile. And he will be taking a strike because we do have an enemy combat. So I'm pretty sure the enemy training, it doesn't say this figure does not give you a strike. Uh, all it says is if you don't defeat it, it just stays where it is. But it is an enemy. So unfortunately, Neil's going to be getting a strike. Oh dear. So he's going to get a strike right now. Let's hope it's not too painful. And ah, it's a zero. Put this strike on your avatar so it covers your act abilities. Next time you would resolve an act ability discard all of your blind strikes instead. Well, this just nerfs his ability to draw a card and get three extra attack, which sucks. But anyway, it is what it is. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, well, and six new cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And yeah. All right, let's see what he has for a six card. He has his tank. He has his free. Um, ah, well, he has your free your mind. So it's going to get rid of that blindness. Um, so two, three, four, five, five recruit and free your mind, which means he can't draw a card or do anything. And he's, <laughs> he's in, well, he can move himself out of the matrix. All right. Oh man. Well, ah, over we go to Morpheus. All right. It's Morpheus's turn. Morpheus is currently in the matrix and the hard line here has been cut. Well, we have to add a card to the Matrix anyway. But at least Smith is kind of staying where he is. We don't want him down here because we can't attack him at all. This is bad. And did we have a coordinate from Neo? I do not believe. No, he had nothing. Neo's got a pretty sad hand next time. So let's hope Morpheus can do something. And Morpheus has two, three, four attack. <laughs> four attack and three recruit. He can get back to the real world. Ah, uh, four attack. Oh man, if you defeat him. Well, ooh, this is this is bad. So Morpheus four attack. We can't attack this guy. We may as well try the training mission. Because that would be the sixth training mission. Oh, let's do it. He uses his four attack. 
in the matrix to try and defeat this we need a two or more damage and no not like this well that's a no damage card so that just gets discarded and this stays where it is so ah uh, morpheus now can use his three recruit to move to the real world to avoid the strike i wonder if we want to do that um Hmm. And of course the strike will knock the timing down one. Yeah, Morphe's going to use all his three recruit to use the hard line here in the combat zone. Remember, if there's three cards here, you can't use it at all, but there's only one. And so he's back in the real world, but now it's strike time. Well, guess what? He's not in the matrix. So the time is going to go from eight down to seven. And we don't draw a strike card. Oh, all right. Well, Morpheus' turn. Six new cards for his next hand. One, two, three, four, five. All right, he's got a mouse. Oh, he's got two mouse cards. Please choose. Oh, yes. All right, I got to shuffle up his discard pile, uh, and he'll be drawing up one more card. All right, shuffling up his discard pile, and he's going to be drawing one more card, which is. Heal any strike. Well, yeah, uh, if he's got synergy. So his next hand, and he has no coordinates. Kung Fu. Oh, Kung Fu helps us with that. Uh, and the mouse card. Choose any number of players to each draw a card. Awesome, which will be both of them. So, yeah, not a bad hand for next time. All right, back we go to Neo, who is currently still in the Matrix. All right, we're back to Neo, and yes, that's coming down. And Agent Smith is one step away from showing up in the combat zone and causing us an entire world of grief. Now, we've got to complete our training. we get got two missions left. This is one of them. And, oh, we have another Lady in Red training. So we have a three-attack training, a four-attack training. And now, what does Neo have? And I don't think Morpheus... He didn't have any coordinates. No! Neil on his own in the Matrix. We only have two cards in here, though, so he can come back with three recruit. And he can also use this card to move anyone to, uh, to the real world, so he can move himself. He has his free your mind. However, his mind is blinded. So, put the strike on your avatar. Next time you would resolve your act ability discard all your blinded Ugh! so he doesn't get that so this all this did was free the, his avatar so the bottom line is neo is hooped <laughs> he is hooped doesn't even have three attack he's got two three four five recruit he will move himself oh this is really bad because oh my god he's gonna move himself to the real world using the tank card once per turn you may move player to the real world and he's got two, three, four, he's got five recruit. And with five recruit, he will get, um, oh man, he will, oh, they're all recruit cards. He'll get three Morpheus card, and he's got two left and another, oh my god. All right, that's terrible. So he can't really do anything else. There's no twos. Um, his free or mind did nothing for him that time. And that's going to be the end of Neo's turn. And... Two strikes are happening. One, two. This is bad. Remember, if this thing gets to zero, you lose. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, this is bad. We got basic attack. Come on, where's a coordinate? Where's a freaking coordinate? We got no coordinates. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Rec so much a recruit. We do have synergies this time. Scan any room. Oh man, that's going to be for next episode. But no coordinates for Morpheus. Oh man, over we go to Morpheus for... Oh, and, oh, and Smith is there. Oh, all right. Over we go, have Morpheus take the last turn. Okay, and ending us off for today is Morpheus. All right, um, this is his hand. He's got... Oh, well, yeah, we have to move everything so boom agent smith comes right down in here which is absolutely horrible because he is a strike every time we got two training missions to try and get rid of he's going to play his two mouse cards though because they're the one gives synergy choose any numbers choose any number of players to draw a card so by playing those two down 
Uh, he's going to choose himself to draw a card, which is... Ooh, he gets the APOC card. Oh, man. Oh, that is so good. And Neo gets to draw a card, and Neo really needs to draw a card because, wow, he's got a pretty lame hand, and he gets the tank card. All right. Okay, okay, this might be good. Hang on, we got... How much attack do we have? We've got two... We've got two attack, six, seven, eight, nine... Well, why don't we just go ahead and hang on. We're going to play this one first. Uh, you get plus two attack against the next enemy you fight in the combat zone. So that's going to be three. And we're going to defeat the lady in red. So that's another training mission gone. We're up to six. We just need one more training mission completed uh, to see the Oracle. And, oh man, it is all up to the strike deck. Because now we've got four, five, six. So with the four attack on this card... I'm going to try the training. This has to be a 2+. Plus. And it is a 3! Oh, gosh. Okay. Absolutely what we needed. And so, oh my god, discard the top card of the strike deck. If it's 2 or more damage, defeat this enemy. And that is our 7th. Oh, that is our 7th uh, training mission completed. So hang on, what does this say? Um, what does this say? Um... So he's got two, three, four. He's got six recruit, but he's just... Comp oh, he's not... Hang on, he had to freely move to the Matrix to do all of that. So that's what he would have done. Why did I not recruit first? Oh my god, I got so excited about attacking everything. All right, we're going to retro something a little bit here. So he was in the real world, and he had two, three, four. He had six recruit. He doesn't have seven. He has six recruit, and he would get... Uh, one of these, sorry about this, out of out of turn order. So while he was in the real world, he's doing, oh my god, another one. Um, he'll get, oh man, I like this symbol. We're going to get another one of the bug cards for three. So that was his sixth recruit. Then he moves into the Matrix, where he used all of his fighting ability. The three to take out the red woman, the one, two... A four of this one. He still actually has two attack left. And I do believe Agent Smith... Uh, no, we would we would do that first. He's got two attack left, but I think now we're just at the end of the act, so it's completely finished. Uh, at uh, two, if the training cards have been defeated, you may talk to the Oracle. Complete, you may talk to the Oracle. Yes, we're going to complete this challenge and begin Act 2, Part 2. So that's completed. So we're just automatically completing... Oh, and Agent Smith, I think. Hang on, he hangs around till Act 3. But we skip the strike phase. He goes right to his discard cleanup. That's how we change acts or parts of acts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 for his next hand, which is a whole bunch of awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, and we go on to the next act. So we go on to uh, Know Thyself, The Matrix, Act 2, Part 2. Set up each player randomly gains one of the following Oracle Hero cards without looking at it. Puts it on top of their deck. Don't worry about the vase. Da, 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 and then begin Act 3, Part 1. Cool! Alright, these are the five cards. And we just give these a random shuffle. And one of each is just going to go on top of every player's deck. So Neo will get this one on top of his deck. And we'll go Morpheus will get this one on top of his deck. That will be for next time. All right, and these are going to go away. I'm going to put them this way so I don't know which ones they were. And what does this now say? And then begin Act 3, Part 1. So at the beginning of Act, when it's Act 3, Agent Smith leaves, put him in the discard pile. Let's try Agent Smith. And this is now completed. And we're on to Act 3, Part 1. Set up. Put the Rescue the Captive extra card into the operations and the two captives guard extra cards into the combat zone. Objective, rescue the captive. Oh, man. Okay, oh, jeepers. All right, what do we got here? Act three. I got to fish those out and get things set up. All right, so to complete the setup for turn three, we're going to put the two captive guards in the combat zone. And they are seven, but this enemy doesn't strike. So they are just guarding which is i guess good <laughs> and then rescue the captive it's a challenge you can only complete this challenge while there are no captive guards in the combat zone when you complete this begin act three part two 
All right, so we're trying to rescue Morpheus. All right, and um, I do believe that's just, that's going to be it. We're into Act 3. When we come back, the next episode will be beginning Act 3. Neo is in the real world. Morpheus is in the Matrix. And we got to come up with a lot of attack to get rid of the guards to rescue Morpheus. Uh, or rescue the captive, which, again, thematically works pretty good, but it's a little tricky with... Uh, you know, Morpheus is alive and kicking and doing things, even though he's supposedly the captive. And we're sitting here at five on the time track, which is really bad. So, thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, and likes. This is Legendary Encounters of the Matrix. We're playing movie one, and we're into act three. So, will we complete the game and win, or will we be defeated by the machines? We'll find out in the next episode. Thanks so much, and we'll see you then.